Let's take a look at how to draw the atomic orbital diagram for potassium, that's K, on the periodic table. And the first thing we need is an electron configuration for potassium. So potassium, that's right here on the periodic table. And potassium has an atomic number of 19, so it'll have 19 protons and it'll have 19 electrons since all the elements on the periodic table are neutral. So let's just follow the table, 1s1, 1s2, and once we do that, we're full, so we go 2s1, 2s2, keep going across, 2p1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 3s1, 3s2, 3p6, let's give ourselves a little more room, and then 3p6, we go to 4s1, and we've used all of these 19 electrons, and you can see we ended up here on potassium. That kind of makes sense. So now we have the electron configuration. We can write the orbital diagram for potassium, the atomic orbital diagram for potassium. If you need help writing these electron configurations, there's a link in the description and at the end of this video. So this is just another way to represent how the electrons are spread out around the nucleus. You could think of the nucleus as right here, and these are the energy levels, or you could consider them shells. So we have electron configuration, or we could do the orbital diagram to show that. So we have 1s2, we put them in opposite directions, 2s2, 2p6, we spread them out first in the p orbitals and then double them up. We have 3s2, 3p6, and we end up with 4s1. So this is the atomic orbital diagram for potassium. Sometimes you'll see it written like this as well. And again, we just spread them out through the diagram. So that's how you write the atomic orbital diagram for potassium K on the periodic table. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.